Okay, guys, what is this thing? So I got this in the mail from Meraki, and I open it up, and I'm like, okay, you know, this thing kind of cute. What can it do? And in today's video, guys, we're going to go over just that, what this thing is, all the capabilities of it, and then we're going to show you guys how to get this onboarded in Meraki's dashboard using wireless. So guys, if you're new to my channel, go ahead, click that subscribe button, and if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. So, okay, so what, what is this thing? So this is Meraki's, one of Meraki's latest cameras. It's called the Meraki MV2. And it's kind of designed, I guess, to go on a shelf or maybe on a tabletop somewhere. And it's supposed to be kind of in the open, right? You're probably not gonna mount this thing on the ceiling. It does look really nice. So if it's gonna be in like a retail area, people aren't gonna be like, ooh, what's, what's that big bulky camera over there? It's kind of very discreet. And again, it looks very nice. If we take a look at some of the features here, I'll first flip it over to the bottom. And you can kind of tell here, I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but there actually is a piece of rubber on here. And what's nice about that is if you are gonna put it on a shelf or really anywhere, and maybe you know there's a tiny bit of movement or maybe the shelf's not 100% level, that piece of rubber, I, I'll, I'll tell you guys, is very, very sticky. Like I can't even move the camera right now, it's shaking my entire desk. So you've got that as an option if you're just gonna be basically placing this thing somewhere. Um, on the bottom too, there is a little hole there. That's gonna be for your reset button if you ever needed to reset this thing for any reason. And then the other thing that Meraki gives you is a little mounting plate here. So if you do wanna mount this maybe on a back wall, maybe there's a cash register in front and you wanna put this on the back, you do have the option of a mounting plate. And Meraki gives you screws if you're gonna go into a stud or there's also drywall anchors and then you use the screws as well. Pop this guy in place and then go ahead and you screw the camera to the little mounting plate there. This mounting plate is also magnetic. So, hey, don't know the situation. Maybe you've got a piece of steel or side of a refrigerator or something that you wanna mount this camera to. You can do that as well. Put this there and then go ahead and screw it in. Then let's kind of talk about some of the other features of this. So there are two hinges on this. So depending on how you're gonna be mounting it, you know, if you're gonna be mounting it straight on a back wall or something like that, you may want it in its compact form. But if you're gonna be placing it on a shelf, again, you've got the two hinges, one that kind of moves it this way and then another one that moves it up and down. So just depending on where you're gonna be placing it, you'll kind of figure out exactly where that camera needs to be based on those hinges. We take a look at the front here. You'll notice kind of a little pinhole thing up top there. This does have a built-in microphone. So it does have voice capabilities right there. You'll be able to record. And then on the actual camera itself, this is a 1080p camera. It has a 103 uh, degree field of view horizontally and a 76 degree field of view vertically. It does have IR capabilities on here, so it will illuminate and you will be able to see up to 26 feet in the dark with the IR capabilities are active there. Um, and it also does have an 802.11 AC Wi-Fi chipset in here. We'll get to more of that in a minute when we go and actually set this thing up. And kind of the last thing that's, I would say, built in from a hardware perspective is it does have a BLE chipset in here, Bluetooth Low Energy. And what I got to imagine that's for is a gateway for all your MT devices. So if you guys don't know what an MT device is, and I made another video on those, go, take, go ahead and take a look at that. But an MT device is a little IoT sensor. So you can do them for things like water detection. You can do things for uh, open and door close if you wanted to. And those will talk to this and communicate back to the Meraki dashboard via this. This would act as basically the gateway. And then just like a lot of the other Meraki cameras out there, it does have the motion analytics. So, hey, there's a person that's coming in here now. We can actually identify that. Um, and we can take a look at that too in the GUI. Last thing before we jump into how to get this thing configured is how do I plug this thing in and how do I get it power? So you'll notice on the bottom here on the back side that there is not an RJ45 port. So you're not gonna be running a Cat5 or Cat6 cable from your switch 
and plugging into this thing. It's a USB-C type connector right there. They give you a USB-C cable in the box. You plug this in and then really guys, you can, you can power it off of any USB port that's out there. Uh, again, this is a USB-C cable here. You just got to make sure you have the right wall adapter. If you're going to be using a wall adapter, wall adapter does not come in the box. So make sure you order that when you order the camera, if you need it, or and this is a really cool option here too. If you do have an RJ45 Cat5 or Cat6 cable run to that area, you can actually use one of these boxes here. Again, I, I'll put the part number in the description of the video so you guys can make sure you purchase this when you, um, when you buy the camera if you need it. But essentially what this does is, is it's, it's a little converter. So it takes in RJ45 Cat6 on one side and converts it over to USB-C power and USB-C network. So I'm still able to power the little MV2 with this box and get a network connection. So if I do it that way, setup is super, super simple. I plug it in, it gets power, it finds the Meraki dashboard, and you're good to go, just like kind of all the Meraki devices. But if I don't have this, because I don't have a Cat 5 or Cat 6 run in the area, I'm gonna basically be relying on, okay, we're getting this thing power, now we gotta use that 802.11ac wireless chipset in here to get it to kind of phone home and talk back to the Meraki dashboard. So let's switch over to that. I'm gonna show you guys my computer and how to get that, that portion set up. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get this thing set up. So we're gonna do a little split screen action here. I've got my camera pointed at the Meraki MV2 camera. So you can see what's going on with that with the blinky lights. And then I've got my iPhone on here too. So you can see what that looks like as we're going ahead and setting it up. One quick thing to mention before I forget, the face of the camera also does rotate a little bit. So depending on how you're gonna be mounting this, if you're gonna be mounting on the side or right side up, um, you just need to twist that to make sure that the image is actually right side up when you go ahead and you look at it in the Meraki dashboard. So you do you just do that physically just by turning it, twisting the face a little bit there. Okay, so now back to my iPhone and just get this from the App Store uh, if you have an iPhone. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, you know, make sure you claim your device first, uh, just like you would with any Meraki device. And then that's actually going to show up under your devices tab here at the bottom. And based off the Mac address, you can go in, you can rename this later if you wanted to go ahead and click that. And then from here, what we need to do is we need to go under tools and then we need to configure wirelessly. Okay. Now kind of tells us what to do. And what we're going to do is say, yep, the LED is flashing white. So we're going to go ahead and continue here. Going to allow that. Okay. And now we're ready to onboard the camera. So we'll go ahead and click continue. And we need to check here and we need to configure the wireless profile. So let's go ahead and select new wireless profile. If I already had one set up, I could probably select it right from there. And then we're going to enter in all our information. And when you have everything entered in there, go ahead and click save. We're going to go ahead and click next here. And we're going to go ahead and click start. Allow that to join. It says configuration successful here. We're still blinking. So we may need to just let this thing update and do its thing. I'm going to let it sit here for a minute and I'll get back here once it kind of uh, evens out. So that took about, we'll call it 15 minutes. The camera came up rebooted a couple times, downloaded firmware, and now it's been pretty stable. So if we go back to, and I just switched over to my desktop view just to get a better picture of it for you guys. And you can see here too, I'm in my organization. I'm under my cameras and here is the Mac address for the one camera. And right now we're pointing at this zebra thingy and you can take a look at the picture quality and everything. And then like I was mentioning before, we've got the analytics built in here network that's where you can go to actually take a look at the rssi strength of the wireless and making sure that it's all connected correctly 
And then we've got some settings under here as well. And this is where we can go in and take a look at things like quality and retention. If you want to make sure it's set to 1080p or 720p if you want to. Motion alerts if you want to be alerted. When there is some motion going on, your wireless profile that we set up before is built into here. And then we've got the uh, Meraki Sense that, again, will detect uh, human bodies as they pass through the, the camera right there. So, guys, with that, you know, just again, a quick overview of this camera, all its capabilities, and how to set it up. If you guys have any questions, post in the comments below. We'll try to get back to you. And again, if you guys like this, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.